Good morning, Facebook family. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Happy Saturday. It's time for spiritual breakfast with Pastor Linda. Pastor Linda. Good morning. Good morning, Apostle. Good morning, everyone out Good there. Morning. Those that I cannot see. Good morning. <laughs> Amen. Amen. We are super excited to be back with you this week. Um, yeah, when I learned how to keep still and then Pastor Linda go ahead and do technology by herself, then we won't have to have these breaks. Amen. <laughs> there are just some things that just don't, you know, they're impossible with man. <laughs> but with God, all things are possible. <laughs> oh, my goodness. But with God, all things are possible. And we are excited. We are super excited for those who are on Zoom with us. We say good morning and God bless you to those who are on Facebook. Thank you so much for taking the time to join us this morning. I'm excited about what the Lord has to say, what Holy Spirit has to say to us. The last time we were together, we were talking about the stretch. He's stretching me. And many of you could identify with that because you are in a place in your life where you actually are feeling the leverage of the weight of God's gifting, his anointing, his call, his mandate, however you want to term it, your purpose, you feel it. Like you literally feel it and you are feeling the stretch. But this morning we want to talk about prep time because I believe that as we shared about being stretched, some of you could not identify with being stretched because you've not prepared. <laughs> huh? You couldn't identify with being stretched because you've not prepared. You've not prepared yourself to be stretched. You've not prepared yourself to elevate. You've not prepared yourself to go to the next thing in God. You have been content in the state that you're in. You've been okay, but it's not okay. It's not okay. There is so much more that God wants from us, but we have to be prepared to move in what he's called us to. Oh my gosh. It's uh, Apostle, can I jump in here for Ooh, just a you minute? Absolutely can. Because because <laughs> when you said you when you said that we haven't been prepared, but yeah. sometimes and you and sometimes God is is doing something and we don't really realize that is God allowing this thing to be done Come to on. stretch us. I mean, yes. you know what I'm saying? It's like somebody might say stretch. Well, what do you mean by stretch? Yes. And then once we get into the deep the depth of it, they'll say, oh, okay, that's what was happening. Because yes. oftentimes God is stretching us and he's preparing us. And what we want to re do is rebuke the devil. Satan, yeah. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. And God is using what is in our lives to prepare us for the next. Oh, come on, sis. Sis, you, ooh, so that, ooh, Okay, go on. ahead. Now, that's, I just on. wanted to jump in there a little <laughs> bit with that. No, that's just so real, though, because... Often we do, we, when, we, when it's uncomfortable and when, when Holy Spirit is doing something that we don't necessarily like or we don't want or we, we're not feeling, we'll get quick to say, I, I rebuke you, rebuke, re, rebuke, who you rebuke it. Like, this is true. Like, embrace it, embrace mm -hmm, it. Mm -hmm. But we're going to talk about this this morning a little bit. We're going to talk about prep time. And from the Urban Dictionary, prep time is a period of time sufficient for preparing for combat or any situation, including but not limited to the activities of surveying an area, making note of anything capable of being used as a weapon, setting up diversions or surprises. Yeah, making a plan for exploiting any and all opponents' weaknesses, clearing the area of children and old ladies, war veterans, etc who might prove to be an unfortunate distraction and so on. Prep mm -hmm. time, prep time, prep time. We're preparing for combat. We're clearing the area of distractions. We're getting things out of the way that could be a hindrance. Prep mm -hmm. time, we're renewing our mind, huh? Prep time, we're asking mm -hmm. our view to be changed. Like we're taking the, the, the stick out of our own eye instead of worrying about what's over there across the field. 
we're even doing this. You know how their envy and jealousy and all those things that strife that comes up because you see God moving in someone else's life and you start feeling some kind of way because you don't see that same movement in your life. Look, prep time helps you to get all that stuff cleared out. Helps mm -hmm. you get your emotions mm -hmm. in check so that as God begins to move you, to stretch you, to really prepare you for what he has next, he'll know that you'll be able to handle it. You know, you another word that I've heard used for what really is prep time is make yourself ready. Yeah, even, even the bride, when she's preparing, you know, prep time is really preparing yes. for what you're going to do. Yes. And, you know, no bride gets married without preparing. Whatever we do in life, yes. we always have to prepare. And, and some preparation, you can't rush through it. It has mm -hmm. to be that appointed be amount time. of time. Mm -hmm. You know, yes. even when you're prepping for certain cakes, it has certain things have to sit for a certain period of time before you can go to the next step. And I'm thinking in, in Joshua chapter 3, <laughs> verse 5, and Joshua said unto the people, sanctify yourselves, for tomorrow the Lord will do wonders among you. Mm. And sometimes we just have to prepare ourselves for what is to come. And, and, yeah. and what, if, if we were to take the moment to look even back over our lives mm -hmm. and we could see pretty much everything that we had to do, we had to prepare first. Mm. It could be a little or it could be yeah. a lot. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, you know, when you bring up that, that, that scripture and the, and the scripture says that we're to sanctify ourselves, nobody knows much about sanctification anymore. Nobody it's, talks it's, about sanctifying yeah. themselves anymore. So, you know. Well, we try we to make it complicated, that. I think, oftentimes, Apostle. Yeah. We yeah. make the word sanctified. In other words, set yourself set apart. Set yourself apart. Yeah. Just for, yourself. for the yes. service. Yeah. Yes. You, yeah. You sanctify yourself for different things. You set yourself apart to do that thing. This is saying, set, sanctify yourself. Set yourself apart for God's purpose, for God's use. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And how hard is that? I mean, that's just like, you, you know, um, we know that some things only come through fasting and prayer, right? Some things you, you've got to take time. That's a, a time of sanctifying yourself, setting yourself apart. Um, time of preparation. To be purged, yeah, <laughs> so that you can hear what it is that the Holy Spirit has to say to you. But who's now really willing to, to go through that prep part? Who's Ooh. willing to turn down that plate and 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 get away from whatever it is? Sometimes we're not even fat. We're fasting food, but sometimes we're fasting television. We're fasting social media. We're fasting different things that have proven to be distractions. Mm -hmm. I know some people first thing in the morning when they get up in, in the morning, they don't say, Lord, I thank you for another day. They grab their phone and look on Facebook to see what people are doing. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. How is that going to prepare you for what God has for you? Unless you work yeah. in media, unless that's your, unless that's your your sphere of influence. But how oh. how how are we really embracing prep time? Are we are we willing to? Are we willing? I, I was working on um, the lesson for let's dip the experience, which is this morning as well, Pastor Linda. And in the book, I asked the question: Are you ready? Are you ready to dip? And of course, everybody would say, of course, I'm ready to dip. But unless you're going to activate, unless you're going to utilize, unless you're going to put to action what the Holy Spirit presents to you about what needs to be done to prep, are you really preparing? Uh, Apostle, maybe you want to tell us what DIP is. It's an acronym for yeah. something. So maybe yeah. explain that because sure. every time you say DIP, I kind of want to do the you little do the DIP, DIP thing. <laughs> but that's not what you're talking about. No. Because after all, we're talking now about spiritual breakfast. Yes. And yes. even when you're preparing breakfast, you're preparing yes. a meal, there is yes. prep time. So yeah. if you tell us a little bit about sure. DIP, D-I-P. D-I-P is discovering, defining and developing your individual purpose. That's what DIP is. That's preparation. <laughs> That's preparation. All of that is preparation. I've got to discover. And much sometimes of what we discover, we don't like. We're gonna talk about that this morning too. We don't like what we discover about ourselves. We don't like 
when truth comes to the surface. We talked about this on, um, on Wednesday in Seeking Truth about cleaning out our closet. The Holy Spirit said, what's in your closet that needs to be thrown out? And we sort of were like, whoa, wait a minute. And we, we rec I recognize now that even with that conversation, that's a part of preparing us. And I said to someone, God can't give you this until you empty your closet of that other stuff because he's trying to prepare us for something. So if we're still holding on to the old stuff, mm -hmm. what's mm -hmm. in your closet now that you can't wear? Mm -hmm. What's in your closet that it's a memory that you'll never use again? Like the memory is past. You hold on to that in your mind. I think I heard my sister Nina say that when Ashton was, was um, purging her closet. And she was like, hold on to the memory in your mind. You don't need to hold on to the pieces of clothes in the closet. Let that stuff go. But when we're preparing, when, when God is preparing us for something, are we really letting go? Are we embracing our truth? Are we letting those things which are behind us truly be behind us and pressing forward to the mark of the prize of the high calling in Christ? Or are we mm -hmm. still trying to drag stuff along with us that's old? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are we still holding on to an old mindset, an old paradigm, an old belief system? Are we still holding on to an old lie? Because somebody lied to you and you didn't held on to that lie forever and a day. And this wow. hindered you. But when we talk about prepping, that, that urban dictionary, that, that definition said, look, you're getting rid of everything that would get in the way, every distraction, every hindrance. You're preparing for, for battle. And <laughs> every day we're faced with a battle. We're, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they're mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Every day we're confronting strongholds in our lives where God is trying to prepare us to take us to a new place in him. But unless we're letting go. Unless we're letting go of the old stuff and actually doing the discovery, doing the defining and doing the development of what he's purposed for us to do in life, how is it going to happen? So would you say then part, a lot of times preparation may require change. Preparation. And action, some, yes. And, and sometimes that is one of the hardest things for us to do is to Ooh. embrace the change yes. that's coming. Some yeah. change is good. Maybe some change isn't. But that's why we have Holy Spirit on the inside yes, to let yes. us know what to hold on to yes, and, and what, what to, to let, let go of. of. Amen. And, you know, with me, some of in my closet may not be that there's anything wrong with it, but there is a purging because I don't need that anymore. Yeah. Because and maybe what I have, someone else needs. Yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. Uh, some of it is my closet is just out of order. <laughs> What I got, I need, but I need to order it, put it in yeah. order. Woo! And some things in our lives is just not in order. Mm -hmm. I'll say that, mm -hmm. you know. And yeah. it's not that, in no, not, not one of us have arrived, but we are all always, you know, always. Um, putting things in order, preparing, yes. um, setting things right, you know, pressing towards the mark. Yes. So we haven't yet arrived, but every time we think we've gotten to the peak there is another, another dimension one. that we go into There's that, okay, one. now you, you've you got this. Now I'm going to take you higher. Yeah. So to whom much is given, much, much is required. Is so God, is. Jesus is always bringing us to a higher standard. That is what he, he wants it, us to keep coming up. You know, mm -hmm. he'll say, come up a little higher. Mm -hmm. Come mm -hmm. up a little higher. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, somebody say, why do I always have to be the one to apologize? Because you've learned that Ooh. you need to apologize and that yes. you need to yes. forgive. That's yes. why you have to be the one to do yes. it. Because he's yes. requiring that of us. Yeah, yeah. We can't get around it. Can't get around it. And to our Facebook family, thank you so much for joining. Um, you're at Spiritual Breakfast with Pastor Linda and myself. And I know you don't see her. But she's here. <laughs> Praise God. I am here. Uh, Hallelujah. She's here. Hallelujah. <laughs> she's here. Um, and we are so grateful for that. Um, but we're talking about prep time. I mean. Yeah. It's ooh, important. Very important. It is. It is. And, and yeah. you know, those things that you brought up, sis, are, are just real. They're just real because, um, wow, I think about, I think about, I think about, I think about some of the things that I've done, I've done, and, and what I'm doing, and um, 
I noticed you I keep saying no I. So what you're doing, you're talking about you, right? I am Cause, talking about me. No, yeah, because you we can talk about ourselves because we know where God has brought us or taking yeah. us. But I, go I, ahead. I, I am go talking ahead. about me. I am talking about me. Um, in my prep time, um, and the many years that I, I fought against God for where God was trying to take me. And my fight was not, not my fight. Well, it was my fight, but my fight was because I had entrusted those that I thought were sent to help me get to my next place in God. Mm-hmm. Were actually the ones hindering me because they weren't trying to prepare me for greatness. They wanted to prepare me for their definition of me. Okay. And so I fought with God about being who God called me to be. I was settling for what man said, what man decided I should or shouldn't be. Mm -hmm. And it was a struggle. And I bring that up because there's someone that's listening even now that God is preparing for greatness, but you have been struggling with what man says. You have been struggling with their definition of who you are. They've not embraced your truth as a kingdom leader. They've not embraced those that are trying to um, maneuver your life and, and, and mold you and shape you according to their desire when we know that clearly we are in the potter's hand, uh, the master potter who does all of that. But you're, you're struggling with your preparation today right now because man has said to you what you're to do. Man has said to you what you're to be. Man has said to you what stage you're to be on. Man has given you limitations where with God, it's limitless. God says that you can be everything I called you to be. I've equipped you. I've anointed you. I've given you capacity. I've given you strength to be everything I've called you to be. But your struggle is what man said. And so this morning, you know, even as we're talking about this prep time, I want you to be delivered today. Hallelujah. I want you to be delivered from what man says about your prep time. And I want you to really focus on what is Holy Spirit saying to me? What do I need to do? What do I need to do to align myself? You said it, Pastor, about things not being in order. We say alignment. What's not aligned in your life for you to prepare for the next thing that God has? And that's only a question that you can answer according to the leading of the Holy Spirit. What's out of alignment in your life that Mm -hmm. would hinder you from preparing for the next thing? Mm -hmm. And if you're able to discover that today, then breakfast has been good. Breakfast has been real good. Breakfast has been real, real good if you can even embrace the truth about what's really going on in my life, why am Mm -hmm. I not preparing for what I know God said about me? And we know he didn't lie. We know he didn't. Mm -hmm. And if you have an ear to hear what the spirit of God is saying, you heard him, right? But even in your prep stage, you were sharing what it is that the spirit of God had revealed to you to people who are not in your corner, people that don't want to see you achieve what it is that God has said. Hmm. So when you shared it with them, they weren't going to encourage you. They weren't going to say, go sister, go brother, go. They were going to give you every reason why you couldn't. Hmm. Why you're not qualified. Mm-mm, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. We're moving forward in the things of God because we know who we are in him. And because he indeed is preparing us for greater. So we have to take the responsibility to do everything according to what the spirit of God reveals to us to do, to make ourselves, get ourselves in alignment with his plan. It's prep time, y'all. It's prep time and then you're going to get stretched. So don't think that after you get prepped, it's going to get easier. No, then you're going to get stretched. And as you and like you say, once we get to a place, uh, then the process starts all then over it starts again. All over again. <laughs> it starts all over again. It's <clears throat> never ending. Yeah. And and you would want it to be never ending. You never want to get to a place where you're just okay. You, yeah. you never want to get to that place where 
I'm complacent. You know, yeah. we want to get to that place of complacency. And you, we call that growing in grace and in the yeah. knowledge of the Lord. Yeah. 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 You, you always want to be growing. You always, well, I'm, I'm, I'm teachable. I tell people all the time. I'm a teacher, but I love te- I love for somebody to teach me. That's why I'm glad I got my big sister, Pastor Linda, in my life. Because <laughs> she teaches me, y'all. She teaches oh, me. Yes, she does. I think she we teach me. each other. We do, we, but I'm we. just grateful. I'm grateful to have you as a teacher in my life. I'm so grateful. Because you well, know, glory to God. Glory to God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, that was, you know, I'm glad you did say that because I think everybody is not out to get us. Everybody no. is not out to misuse what God no. has placed in us no. or just to use and abuse it for their own purpose. But we have to make sure we surround ourselves. Mm-hmm. You know, Jesus had the inner circle. Yes. And, you know, we have to surround ourselves with the people that are going to help us to be all that we can be in Christ. Yes. Yes. And that I think that's very important. It absolutely is. It absolutely is. It absolutely is. People that are going to speak life to you, that are going to encourage yeah. you, that's not going to lie to you, not going to tell you something that isn't true or, or, or going to just tell you things to tickle your ears. I mean, if we're going to be a friend to a person, we're going to tell them, we're going to the give truth. them truth. Yes. We're going to, yeah, we're going to give them truth. Says, yes. sis, I don't know. You, you know you're not supposed to do that. You know, you know that ain't right. <laughs> I mean, we need to, we need, we yes. need to be able to say that yes. to each other. Yes. That's when someone really cares about yes. you. Yes. When they yeah. care about you and they care about seeing you fulfill God's plan for your life. And, mm-hmm. and there's no, no competition. Like y'all hear me talk about it all the time. I have a tremendous circle and I'm not the smartest cookie in the block. I, and I love it. I love it. Oh, you you know know. you're the sweetest cookie in the block. I might be the sweetest cookie. I ain't the smartest (laughs) cookie, but I might I might be the sweetest cookie on some days. Now I know some of my I know some of the circle is watching right now, and they going, "Mm -mm, no, she not. She really is not. I know y'all cutting your eyes, and it's okay because I know me. I know me, and I'm getting better. (laughs) I'm getting better, but um, we are all in a stage of being prepared for what God wants to do in our lives, Mm -hmm. and Mm -hmm. we help each other. I mean, we speak into each other's lives. Sometimes it's painful. So mm-hmm. understand that when you're going through the prep phase, sometimes mm-hmm. it's not going to feel good. But don't try to dismiss it because it doesn't feel good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they, they laughing and, and sending hugs because they know I was just telling the truth. Amen. Thank you so much for that love. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it, 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 it. The preparation process is exactly what it is. It's a process. Mm, preparing. Preparing you mm-hmm. for what's coming next. Pastor Linda used the analogy about baking a cake. I can't speak to that because I don't bake cakes. But if you don't bake no cake? Mm-mm, that's why I love your cakes. Um, <laughs> well, you know, whatever we, whatever we prepare, whatever we cook. I know. But, 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 it's, but yeah. But I'm just yeah. saying, when you're baking a cake, sometimes... You know, you let the butter set out a certain amount of times because uh-huh. you want it room temperature or the different ingredients. You need yeah. to do certain things like preparing Thanksgiving dinner. We don't just get up Thursday morning and decide today I'm going to cook the turkey and the stuffing right. and the greens and the mac and cheese and uh-huh. all of those things. We don't just get up Thursday morning and do that. We start Monday with cooking something and putting it aside and Tuesday cooking something else and Wednesday prepping something else. And That's then true. Thursday morning, we get up and we might put the greens on or we put the macaroni and cheese in the oven, but all the other stuff has already been prepared. Right. It's and we call that thing, we call it Thanksgiving dinner, but we've been prepping all week. We've been for prepping it. all week. Somebody yeah. been prepping before that. Somebody, come on, come on. We, we, somebody was somebody even now sent out a list to their family members to say, hey, we having dinner at so-and-so's house. What are you bringing? You already preparing. If you mm-hmm. can do that same thing for Thanksgiving dinner, why can't you do that for your purpose? Why can't you do that for mm. your mind? Why can't you do that for the intent of God? That you take time, months in advance, weeks in advance to say, okay, Holy Spirit, you reveal this truth to me. Now, how am I going to navigate that? How am I going to execute that? What am I going to change so that when it happens, I'm ready? Okay. Amen. Come on now. Mm-hmm. Come on. Mm-hmm. If we know now what we're doing on Thanksgiving Day, and that's weeks away, and Holy Spirit revealed to you years ago what his intent was for your life, but you're closer to having that Thanksgiving dinner ready than you are walking in purpose. What's wrong mm-hmm. with you? 
Mm. What's wrong with that? That's all, right? It sounds like there needs to be some alignment, right? Yeah, it does. <laughs> it does. It does. Mm. It's ready. For, it's time for us to really take our preparation process seriously. Seriously. It's time for us to really incline our ear to hear what the Holy Spirit says and not just hear, but then implement, execute, mm -hmm. execute what's been revealed. Because mm -hmm. like I tell people all the time, you can buy my book. You can buy my book. Yeah, this is the newest one. And there's another one coming next month. So get ready for that one, too. But you can buy my book all day long. But if you don't open it, up, open it up and use what's in it, it's just paper. It's just a tree. It's just a tree on your shelf with all the rest of them. You got to implement what you hear. You got to execute the plan according to what the Spirit of God reveals to you to prepare for what's to come. Hmm. Preparing for your next. You got to. You got to. Woo, Lord have mercy. Mm. It took me <laughs> back to... When we get ready to give birth and our body prepares and we, it, our body knows what to do. It prepares. Mm -hmm. It starts with contractions and, and, and opening us up, opening up the birth canal so that that, that that baby can come forth. See, God's been trying to open up the birth canal of, of, of that purpose that he placed on the inside of some of you. But you're not trying to work with your you're not trying to work with the spirit of God. You're trying to come up with excuses and you're trying to disqualify yourself when God has said you're qualified and you're trying to disqualify yourself because man said you you don't qualify. You, you're doing all these stuff. You, you're coming up with excuses. I'll get to it tomorrow knowing that tomorrow never comes. Come on. I didn't get my degree. He didn't ask you about your degree. I didn't. He didn't ask you about that either. But I didn't. He didn't ask you about that. Either. All he wanted to know is, are you willing to be a, a, a vessel used by by me for my glory? Are you willing? Are you willing to give me a yes to go through this preparation process? <laughs> are you are you willing to do that? Because that's all I need. All I need is yielded vessels that are willing to do yeah. what I say. Are, are you willing? Vessel. Are you willing, willing vessel? Are are you? I'm asking you, my brother and sister, this morning. Are you willing to give God another yes? Mm -hmm. Where you're saying, God, you know what? They're telling the truth. Pastor Linda and, and, and Apostle Val are telling the truth this morning, God. I yeah. want to be everything that God wants me to be. Mm -hmm. But sometimes I don't feel like going through the process. I don't or, feel or like being prepared. Or, yeah, for sometimes we just don't know. We don't yeah. know what the process is. We don't know what we should do next. We, yeah. We're not sure if what we heard was the voice of God or if that's God's will for my life. I mean, all of those things really do come into play. It is not even play. all the time that we don't want to do it. It's just that we're just not sure. But that's and there are times important. in my life I'm just not sure. Yeah, but that's why it's important that our relationship be intact. Mm -hmm. Because the more we grow with him, the more we know him, the more we know his voice, the, the less we question God was at you. Mm -hmm. So we just want to encourage you this morning. Yes. Our listeners on Zoom, our, our audience on Facebook, we want to encourage you this morning to know that there's a preparation process that, that's upon us now where God is preparing us, the Holy Spirit is preparing us for our next. Mm -hmm. Somebody's been feeling the pain of it. Mm -hmm. Somebody's been fighting against it. Mm -hmm. There's some that want to embrace it, but like you said, Pastor Linda, they're just not sure. Mm -hmm. We want to believe with you today that the answers you need, the answers that you need, you'll receive. The clarity yeah. that you need, you'll receive. Amen. Amen. You'll be able to execute the instructions that you receive from the Holy Spirit to mm -hmm. move forward in what it is he's preparing you for. I said the other day, um, I'm a global speaker. And then I sort of chuckled. But I am. I embrace that now. There was a time that I wouldn't have said that. I'm, I'm a global, I'm an international speaker. I wouldn't have said that because it would have just seemed odd, but that's who I am. That's what God is going to do, as has done and will continue to do in my life, that he's opening up platforms for me, that he's preparing me even now for a greater stage. Am I going to fight it this time? No. I'm going to prepare. I'm going to do what he says. I'm going to strengthen who I am in him so that when I go forth, I can make him smile. She listened mm. this time. Y'all hear me this time. 
because there have been times that I didn't. But this time, I understand the importance of who I am in God. Pastor Linda understands the importance of who she is. And I ain't speaking that because it's what I think is what I know. She takes her relationship serious. We both do. We want to please God, don't we, Pastor? Oh, yes. We want to oh, please yeah. him. We want yeah. to please him. And if it means that we have to prepare, if it means that we have to change something, if we've got to go back and do what that definition says, that we're preparing for combat, knowing that we're going to have to um, deal with some spiritual warfare day to day, that mm -hmm. we're going to have to deal with the, the war with our flesh, that when we get up in the morning, we're going to have to die to the flesh so that the spirit man can rule in our lives. We understand that there's going to be combat. We understand that there are going to be distractions, but in mm -hmm. our preparation time, that's when we can take the time to clear out the distractions, get those things out of the way that would hinder us so that when we begin to move forward in those things that God has called us to, as he has made the way plain, because he does, the steps of the righteous are ordered by God. He makes the way plain for us. When we do the prep, then we can take take the stage. We can go on that platform that he set for us. We can take that path that he's prepared for us and we can do it. Mm -hmm. We can do it. We can do yes. it. Yes. We can do it. We can get to that expected end. Mm -hmm. We can do it. We can do it. Yeah. We can do yes. it. So we want to Glory encourage to you God. today. Do the prep work. Do the prep work. Do the prep work. Amen. Good morning. Do the prep work. Do the prep work. Don't try to, don't do the shortcut. Do the whole thing. Yeah, I know. I heard old, I heard your Holy Spirit. He said, somebody's here listening to y'all right now. And they said, well, I'm going to do it, but I'm going to take the shortcut. Don't do the shortcut because you're going to have to come back around again. Don't do oh, the come shortcut. On. Oh, come go ahead. On. What you talking about? Don't come on, you, you know, if come you on, don't prepare the ingredients <laughs> for that cake, right? Don't do it's the going, shortcut. It's not going to turn out right. You're going to have to do it over you're again. Have to do it. Yes. Come so on. don't do the shortcut. I know you were thinking about it. You were like, oh, yeah, okay. I'm going to do the prep work, but I'm going to see if I... No, don't shortcut. So we're just helping you out today. Don't, don't, <laughs> don't, don't do, do it. Don't do it. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and just take the time. And, and yeah. Just take the time and, and go through the whole thing. Just go through the whole thing. I'm going to tell you, it's, it's going to be worth it in the end. It's going to be yeah. worth it. Amen. In. I promise Amen. you. It's going to be Amen. worth it in the end. So... We encourage you with spiritual breakfast this morning. Prep time. Hallelujah. It's necessary. It'll do you Amen. good. It'll do Thank you good. You, Lord. It'll Thank make you, you Lord. strong. It'll make yes. you strong in him. But what it is he's called you to do, know that you have a plan. He has a plan for your life. He has purpose for you. He has an mm -hmm. original intent. He has an expected end just for you. For every one of you that's watching and listening, he has a plan for you. We don't want you to give up on yourself because God hasn't given up on you and we haven't given up on you either. We want you to pursue everything that God has for you. Get what's yours. Get what's yours. Oh, so much is waiting for us. So much. So mm -hmm. we pray that you've been encouraged this morning with this spiritual breakfast. Pastor Linda, you want to pray us out this morning? Amen. Hallelujah. Thank oh, Father Lord. God. We glorify you. We honor you. We exalt you. We thank you, Lord God, because you are God. Oh, we thank you that you're Elohim, you're El Shaddai, you're Jehovah Jireh, you're Jehovah Rapha, you're Jehovah Sitkanu. Oh, God, we glorify your name today. We lift up the name of Jesus. And God, we thank you for preparing us. We thank you that you said you never leave us nor forsake us. So even in our preparation time, you are there and you are working it out so we just trust you and we cast all our cares on you Lord God because we know that you care for us because you said that you would always be with us you'll never leave us so we thank you for that today we glorify your name we honor your name we extol you we praise you yes, oh Lord. God because you are the true and living God yes, so we ask right now we thank you in advance for um being with us. We thank you in advance for preparing us. We thank you in advance yes. for allowing Holy Spirit to dwell on the inside of yes. us, to be our guide, to be our teacher, to be our mediator, to be the wisdom and the truth and the peace yes, and sir. the comfort that we need. We thank you. We thank you for our apostle, Lord God, for what you're doing in her and through her. 
for having these programs on Saturdays and other days, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, because there is no excuse for the people of God not being able to get the word and hear the word. So once we get it, we hear it. Father, we thank you that we will be accountable. We will make ourselves accountable to the word because we know that you have placed yourself under your word. You place your word above your name. Your word is true. Your word is alive. Your word is living. Your word is powerful and sharper than any to it sword. So we thank you for your word today. We thank you for the living word. All the bread. Oh, we thank you for the bread, for our breakfast, our Mm. bread, the daily bread that you give us. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you for what you're doing. We pray that we will always be attentive to what you are doing in our lives, that we would have listening spiritual ears, oh God, to hear, that we would have seeing Mm. spiritual eyes to see, oh God, and that we will always glorify you. We praise you right now in the name of Mm. Jesus, in the name of Yeshua, Hamashiach, our Messiah. We give you glory. Amen and Amen. 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 Our Facebook listeners, thank you so much for joining us again. We'll be back next week. We'll be back next week. We'll be back next week with another spiritual breakfast. Yeah. Join us then. Thank you. Until next time, we love and bless you. Amen. Amen.